Hey guys, what's going on? Um, today, we're going to be doing a quick news update. Really, really short. Uh, we got the new information about the World Tournament. First off, shout out to dbz.space. Go over, check it out. We're over on japan.dbz.space, and we're underneath the schedule section of the game cards. So we have a whole bunch of new information about the new World Tournament cards. This is all World Tournament stuff, which is phenomenal. So let's go ahead and talk about it. First off, we're going to start off with the weakest one, or the one that no one wants, Manwolf. Um, not Wolfman, Manwolf. This is the guy from the original Dragon Ball Saga, or the Dragon Ball series. Uh, he was part of the World Tournament. I'm pretty sure he was part of the World Tournament. Uh, Master Roshi used Krillin's head as a moon in order to transform him back to a man. Uh, he's a rare card. He's not really that great. It's really not even worth talking about. Um, when Key's 8 or more, it looks like he's getting attack plus 5,000, which is kind of cool, whatever, but he's a rare. For collective purposes, go for it. Outside of that, not really that great. Um, but yeah he's coming i think that's awesome <laughs> uh the next one is going to be the new ssrtn i believe this is going to be the world tournament reward that you're going to get from taking place in the world tournament so that's pretty cool um it looks like let's see here uh he is knowledge, uh, knowledge or intelligence attribute hp attack plus 50 percent up which is not that bad um in terms of old meta, so in terms of new meta, no, not at all, uh, but whatever. His super attack is gives super extraordinary damage, which I'm pretty sure is supreme, and for six turns, he raises his attack and defense up by 30%, which is not bad at all. Um, again, I'm not a big fan of that defend that, that turn-based increase of stats, but some of you may be. His passive skill, double hands, or I guess that's a special move that he does. A, a high attack with up to two attacks at the highest probability, and attacking the special move with high probability. So it looks like he has that Vegito Blue special where he can do up to two, a high possibility of doing two additional attacks, um, and at least one of them has a high probability to be a, a super attack. That's pretty cool. Uh, Link skills, I can't really go through them, but it looks like he's getting the Dragon Ball guy, got into the Dragon Balls, uh, the Mystical Adventure, In Fighter, um, and two, I guess the Dodon Ray might be this one? I don't think so. Uh, Crane, oh, Crane School. So this is uh, Crane School up over here, uh, and Telepathy, which is, the Telepathy is just probably um, like Mines or something like that. Uh, we'll see over here, Telepathy, yeah, something like that with Mines. So, uh, really cool card. I'm not think I don't think he's gonna be the greatest, but because he has the Vegito Blue, he could be potentially pretty good. Especially if you get some dupes of him, if you want to grind him out for those dupes. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. It looks like this is added to the Summon Pool. So at least that's what the Reddit said. So shout out to the Reddit. I'm pretty sure it says I think this is right over here. Um, actually, it's not. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that was said to be added to the Summon Pool. So it means he's gonna be available to summon, uh, which is interesting to say the least. Uh, Son Gohan, this is the one where he is in his, uh, when he's training in the hyperbolic time chamber with Goku. It looks like key of intelligence plus two, attack and defense plus 50% up, so he's not really a good leader. His super attack magic flash, which is, uh, it looks like supreme. For three turns, he raises attack and defense up by 30%. Uh, his passive skill breakaway from, uh, Menity. Uh, key, well, his own key goes up by three, attack and defense plus 60% when there are two or less enemies. So that's actually pretty cool. So he'll always has to have his attack and defense um, uh, activated at that time. At least that's how I'm training translated, guys. So, you know, bear with me if this is not the correct translations. This is just Google Translate, but it's been doing a little bit better. So attack and defense 60% um, when there are two or less uh, enemies. That's pretty cool. So it looks like he's part of the Son Goku family. Um, Battle Ethic Saiyan, which is 700. It's not really that great. Z Warrior, which is 15%. Uh, Saiyan Warrior Race. Um, or that's uh, Saiyan Blood, Saiyan Lineage, that is. Uh, tension, uh, attack plus 15%, up. I don't know what that one is. And Shocking Speed. So he has some pretty uh, decent uh, link skills. Nothing to be amazed about. But uh, overall, you know, we'll, hopefully he will be a really good unit uh, to, to utilize. It looks like he'll be more of a fun unit than he's going to be for opti uh, optimized. Um, definitely not, because it looks like he's only getting a, a small uh, buff when he gets the orbs inside of him. But uh, yeah, guys, that's him. Now we're gonna go ahead and talk about the one that everyone's been kind of like waiting for. This is the LR Tien. First off, really awesome Tien Shin Han. He is going to be farmable as always because he does have the farmable strike event character. So you can go ahead and get him Super Attack 10 with the strike event character. Um, it looks like attack of all attributes um, is defense plus 50% up. So, or attack and defense of all attributes plus 50% up, which is cool. Uh, 
Donkey, giving the opponent super huge damage, which I'm assuming is supreme, uh, and rare, I guess rare, a rare chance to stun the enemy. Um, let's see, passive skill, Martial Artist Spirit, attack plus 5,000 up with an ambiguity uh, when the key meter is 8 or more. Um, so difference 5,000, I don't know what that means. Uh, 5,000 up. I guess it just means he's normally getting 5,000 up. Well, we'll figure that out in a little bit. Um, so it looks like he's part of Crane School. Uh, Donkey. Um, it looks like that's Dodon Ray, most likely. Uh, telepathy. Uh, Mysterious Adventure. And Guidance of the Dragon Balls. So he has some pretty cool link skills. I like that. He's a pretty decent unit, um, but he's and he's farmable. His leader skill is kind of garbage. It looks like he's not going to be that viable until you Doken Awaken him. Uh, this is his Doken Awaken version, and where the next one's going to be his LR. It doesn't look like we actually have how we Doken Awaken him. Um, oh, seven, 70 World Tournament medal. So it does look like he's very similar to Piccolo. So seven and then seventy. Uh, so that's cool. So his leader ability on his TUR variant is attack of all attributes, uh, attack and defense plus 70%. Double dozen gives the opponent super huge damage, rarely fainting. Uh, passive skill, attitude of the investigator. Uh, key, when key is 8 or more, attack plus 7,000. When key is 11 or more, defense plus 7,000 up. So that's pretty cool. So maybe that's what his undokun form is, uh, talking about defense over here, plus 5,000 up. But, uh, okay. So it looks like it's a crane school, don't on ray. Telepathy Mysterious Adventure, he gets Rebirth now. All right, cool, so he gets the Rebirth link. Uh, with 70 of these medals, it looks like he's going to Doken Awaken into the LR variant. The, the artwork looks cool. It doesn't look like we have the gif of how it's actually going to look. I'm, I'm assuming that it's going to be like a holographic effect and pro or probably have the flame or the aura around uh, Tien and Chiaotu, which is kind of cool. They're probably going to be moving. Uh, Chiaotu is definitely not my favorite character. If you've been following me here, I, I, I don't like Chiaotu on any of my cards. Just because he's here, I, I don't know. Tien is a, is a really cool character, though. But uh, I don't know how I feel about this. But uh, anyway, let's talk about the LR card. Max stats, HP of 15,266, attack of 13,723, and defense of 8,526. So he actually has a pretty high uh, defensive stat, which is awesome. And then when you get him max orbs, because you can always do that with these guys, HP is almost 20,000, attack is almost 19,000, defense is almost 14,000. That's insane. His leader ability, all attack, of, attack and defense of all attributes, plus 100% up. Um, so as a leader, he's not that great. And with a team cost of 99, you're definitely not going to run him as a leader. Uh, There's just too many good cards that are out there. If they give him like key plus two attack and defense plus 100%, um, or key plus three and attack and defense plus 100%, then I could say he'd be a good leader. The fact that he lacks key in his leader ability just makes him garbage. Um, super attack, attack of bonds. Um, I know it's going to have something to do with him and Tien, or him and Chiaotu being together. Uh, so this is probably going to be colossal damage and sometimes fading. So he has, a, a, I guess, a less than a rare chance uh, to actually uh, stun the enemy, which is probably going to be cool. Um, his passive skill is going to be a Spirit of the Earth where attack plus 10,000 up with key is 8 or more, defense plus 10,000 up when key is 11 or more, and a base form of a uh, base of attack and defense plus 10,000 up. 10, up. So 20,000 increased into attack. Um, I, honestly, it doesn't seem that great. Flat out buffs always kind of suck. So there's nothing you can do about that. He has Z-Warrior, which is cool, 15%. And then it looks like everything else and uh, Legendary Power. So he gets two additional Link skills, but really Z-Warrior is the only one that's giving him the attack buff. And Z-Warrior is his only decent attack buff uh, Link skill. Uh, I don't have any information. It doesn't look like of his super attack because uh, LRs typically have two super attacks. It looks, oh, okay. So 18 key, give the opponent extreme damage, sometimes fainting. Oh, that's odd that it's extreme. Uh, 20 or special attack extra level, uh, special move plus 30% of his own specials further increase. So when you get him at super attack 20, um, it does 30% damage. Uh, so that's awesome. That's his 18 key. And then double don donning frequency. I guess it's a double to dompa. So 12 to 17 key, maximum damage, rarely fainting. Special move plus 30% when it's level 20. Okay, so that's, that's insane. So wait, it says 18 key is extreme damage, and this one says maximum. I'm going to assume that 12 key is going to be colossal, and 18 key is going to be mega colossal, but that's just my uh, assumption on the matter. But uh, yeah, guys, I just wanted to make sure I got that uh, out that information for you. Um, oh, we also got this TN also, so or this TN, this Chiaotu, which is horrible. I hate him. But he's a physical Chiaotu, and he's here, and he has a little squiggly hair, and yay, awesome. Uh, awesome. Vigor of knowledge and body, so intelligence and physical, key plus two, HP by 40%. Eh, okay. Uh, his super gives super oversized damage. It's probably just going to be extreme. Uh, 
Jiwiwa and attack. Um, don't know what the heck that is. Uh, defense 40% for yourself and 40% down for three turns defense of attacking the enemy. Um, so it looks like the enemy's defense is going to get uh, knocked down by 40% for three turns. So he'll be, he should, if that's his case, he should be good up against the Broly events. Um, and it looks like he's going to be part of the Crane School uh, super power to ESP. Uh, telepath uh, telepathy telepathy <laughs> uh, mysterious adventure and drag guidance of the dragon balls um not really a good card at all honestly i think he kind of stinks but whatever he's going to be here you're probably going to pull a lot of him uh but yeah guys that's it that's the new cards that are coming out uh when we have more information about lrtn i will definitely do that i'll, I'll probably go over it more in depth uh, in terms of super attacks and all that other information, if it happens to be actual extreme damage and not like Colossal or Mega Colossal, I will go over all that when I do a team building guide with him. But uh, yeah, guys, anyway, thank you for joining me here today. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you're new here. I'll catch you all in the comments below. Peace.